Hello everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I am thrilled to be sharing with you another part of our living room. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that Sean and I have been working on a ton of projects in our home and our focus started with the living room. We were so unhappy with the layout of the living room and the space that we had and the color and everything. So we really wanted to start with the living room because it is the room that we spend the most time in. Sorry if you hear any snuffling, Finley is rolling around on the couch right now. Finley, what are you doing? You being silly? Finley wants to say hi to you guys. You good boy. Hmm? My husband and I don't have a big budget for this renovation, so we really wanted to utilize everything that we had in our home. So my first DIY was actually a DIY entertainment center. I will link that video above in case you would like to see that. The part of our living room that I would like to share with you guys today is actually this piece that's right behind me. My husband and I actually found that piece at a garage sale a few years ago. So we got to the garage sale at the last minute and they were actually just putting stuff out on the curb and we saw this shelf and we loved it and we asked them how much and they actually just let us have it for free. Before we got this house, we had an apartment and we used it to store or canned goods um, in our kitchen because our kitchen was actually, it was actually pretty big, but it didn't have that much storage. But then once we moved to our new home, I couldn't find a purpose for it, and so it was actually out in the garage for a whole year storing tools. So then after watching a ton of YouTube videos and searching Pinterest, I was finally inspired to use this shelf to display my melt glass and to display my home decor. Probably one of my biggest inspirations to make this shelf is actually Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. She has a shelf in her home. I love how she decorates her shelves, and I I love how it has such a variety of things on it. So I definitely took some inspiration from her. So if you guys would like to see how she decorates her shelves, I will link her video above showing exactly how she decorates her shelves. So in this video, I would like to share with you what it took to take a piece that almost went to the garbage and turn it into a beautiful shelving unit. After you see the transformation that this piece went through, I would like to show you how I'm using it in my home right now.
Okay, so now that you've seen the process, I would like to share with you exactly how I am decorating this for the summer season. If you saw the milk glass tag that I posted recently, you know that I found a ton of pieces of milk glass, and right now I have them all displayed on this shelf. I really love having the taller pieces of milk glass at the top, it really makes the room look a lot taller. And inside of the middle milk piece of milk glass, I actually have some white flowers that I got at an estate sale, and I really love them, I think they work perfectly. Then on the second shelf, I actually have two light fixtures. These are actually meant for lights, but right now I'm just using them to display. I talked about in a previous video maybe putting a tea light underneath it so that they light up like in the dark so it would be a little more romantic. And right here is one of my favorite pieces. I love this like little goblet. It's so pretty. It's got the dotting on it and these patterns and the scallop top. I think it's so beautiful. I'm actually using it to hide our coasters, which I think is pretty clever. Um, so our coasters are right in there and if we need them, we just grab them. But when we're done, we put them back. So that's what's on the second shelf. On the third shelf, I have a couple pieces of hobnail milk glass. And then I have these two new pieces that I actually just got at a garage sale this weekend. And they are golden apples. I haven't even hauled these yet. I'll be sharing these with you uh, in my garage sale haul that I'm posting this weekend. But they are these little gold apples and they open and you can store stuff inside of them. I just think they're really pretty and they work really well with the decor. And then right in the middle, I have a couple books. This book is very special to us because this is actually a book that Sean's grandmother wrote. And so it's all about the town that she grew up in and we love having that. So right now we have it facing this way. Obviously there are no words on the binding, which I wish there were. I think it's a great piece to have and it's important to us. Then the second book is a book that Sean found. I think that it's a book completely in single syllables. I think that's what it's called. Like it's like the one single, uh, the one syllable book. And so every word in here is a single syllable, which I think is pretty funny. And then this book I got at a garage sale uh, a couple weeks ago, and it's conversational Spanish for beginners. Most of my students speak Spanish and I speak Spanish, and so um, I just think it's a fun piece to have. I think it's from like 1900 or something like that. It was only like 25 cents. And then I have a little bird that I got at a garage sale recently. He fits so perfectly on here. Sean and I went to a wedding recently and this was our table number, so we kept that to display on the books. I have another piece of milk glass, and then this is really fun. This was given to us at our wedding, and it's to stop arguments. So pretty much you ring it, and you're supposed to stop fighting um, when you ring it. And so I think it looks really pretty on here, and I just think it's a fun piece. So that is our third shelf. On the fourth shelf, we have two more hobnail planters, and right here is where we actually keep our mail. So as you can see, there are some pieces of mail in it right now, and when it gets too full, I just go through it and you know shred the stuff that we don't need. Um, but I think it's a nice way to keep all of our mail in one spot and it's out in the open so that we know where it is and um, I think it just looks nice on our little display. So on the fifth shelf I have a vanity mirror which I think is so fun. I have like two or three of these. I just think they're absolutely beautiful and right here I have a goblet, one of the uh, milk glass goblets uh, with the little teardrops that I just think is so pretty and then I have um, these pressed flowers that I got at a garage sale a couple weekends ago and I just think these are so beautiful and then on this side I actually have my hobnail cake plate which is just so beautiful um, I was thrilled when I found that and I actually have this apple that my mom had at her house and she didn't want it anymore and since I'm a teacher I felt like I should have it in here um, and so it was actually like a darker almost like a purple color and I didn't really like it so I painted it bright red and right now I just have it sitting on a napkin because I'm afraid it's gonna stain the milk glass um, so that is what I have on the fifth shelf and then on the bottom shelf we have our router for the internet and then we have this plate which was like a guest book for our wedding so all of the signatures and messages are on there and it's just very meaningful and special to us and I was excited that we got that um, I think it was a very sweet gift and then over here I have another milk glass vase with a couple flowers in it that I got at a garage sale and then we have another goblet back here that we're keeping our change in and then this bee is actually the bee that was on top of our cake and actually my mom made it um, it's just this wooden bee that she painted navy and she lined it with Swarovski crystals um, because we always have Swarovski crystals because we did pageants so that is what is on the bottom shelf I am just so pleased with how this piece turned out. So as you can see, this project was actually fairly easy. It was just time consuming. In comparison to the entertainment center that I did a couple weeks earlier, this one actually took longer. I think that it took longer because it has a lot of smaller pieces and like nooks and crannies that you really have to get into. Each time that I sat down to put a coat of paint on this, it took about an hour. The white in this piece is exactly the same as the white in the entertainment center and I absolutely love the color. I think that this color looks great in our living room. It really brightens up the space and makes it look a lot bigger because we live in a pretty small home. 
home. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out all of the other DIY projects that I'm doing in my home right now. I will link a playlist above. If you would like to see more up close pictures and detailed instructions, please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.wordpress.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.